You can't, I'm not learning anything. I mean, do this, do that, but you don't know why you're doing it. I went down to 12, down for about to 20, and you lose it. I don't know why, why do you lose it? Mm -hmm. That's 20, I'm with you. What you'll probably find is when you're not thinking about it, that's when your real movement emerges. Look at that. You're not thinking of any technique. <laughs> you like the momentum just yeah. makes it. I felt that. It's a different feeling. Oh man. <laughs> this, this is not the last we've told, this is not the felt. Yeah. I never used to think. You can't, I'm not learning anything. I mean, do this, do that, but you don't know why you're doing it. I didn't play golf for the last eight years, seven years. I stopped playing, got fed up, so I yeah. I went down to 12. I went down for about to 20, and you lose it. I don't know why, why do you lose it? Mm -hmm. That's 20, I'm with you. What you'll probably find is when you're not thinking about it, that's when your real movement emerges. Mm. Essentially, when your eyes on the ball, your body responds, and the, the movement that it responds with, that's your true signature style of movement. I can hold a ball here, so it's literally, I'm not reacting to a ball. I'm physically going to have to throw this now. It's closed loop. You suddenly shout to me yeah. and hold your hand out, and I turn around and throw it and react. What did I do? That was all natural. I didn't think about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But you gave me an intention. My attention very quickly shifted, and that became my intention. And suddenly, you throw the ball, and suddenly you start making movements. And it's like, well, how did I do that? Well, I didn't think about it. And that is that signature style, authentic movement. That's exactly sometimes when I strike the ball and strike it really well. Yeah. yeah. Just yeah. Oh, how do I do that? Exactly. Where did that come from? Yeah. Yeah. So the body's you see the body has that potential. Yeah. That's what we've got to tap into. Often we are so internalised with our focus in golf that we become so dissonant from the actual intention that the whole nature of the game changes for us. We're not playing golf anymore. It's all about swing. Yeah. And, uh, and, and we've got to we've got to reconnect you with the environment and the task. And it's like, come on now, just keep your head down. So we resort back to driving range mode. Keep the head down, just come on, make a good swing, make good contact, and then and it's like suddenly now you are so disconnected from the actual game, but that's the way you've trained yourself. A few warm up shots. What's going to make the biggest difference to your game, Carl? Striking the ball correctly. Striking the ball, yeah, more consistently. Yeah. 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 So that one was cleaner, yeah. and the others have been a little bit heavy, haven't they? Yeah. You just put the ground before the ball. So if you look at the handle and the club head, this is what you're doing. Look at the grip. You're doing this. Actually lifting the ball rather than... As opposed to this. If I'm not moving in a certain way, I can't put the hammer on the nail. So how do we get this strike? Well, this will happen as the body starts to sequence and to sequence it means we need to use the whole body. Am I releasing the club early then? Yeah, way early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you, you were 99.9% of the golfer. Okay. <laughs> He's playing the game. <laughs> okay. Welcome to the club. <laughs> Welcome. Come up there, you drop the club. We're not thinking of any technique. Okay. <laughs> okay. Because if I give you a ball to throw, when you throw the ball, you won't think about how you throw it. I'll tell you what, you just sequence. What we're going to do then is we're going to first of all look at rotation from the ground. And to do that, we can use the rotating discs. Twist your feet to swing the club up and down. So we're going to swing the club up and down, Val, not round the body. You twist the feet and that loads the wrist. Okay, got it. Yeah. That's it. Perfect. Just up and down. Shorter swing, but more wrist cut. That's it. So it's just swishing it. Brilliant. So it's a snap on the way through, snap on the way back. So you're just snapping it. You like the momentum just yeah. takes it. It's not my body, it's just my feet to do it. Yeah. What you might be sensing is now your feet interacting with the ground. Yeah. And you've never sensed that before no. in this way. And this affords you all this movement now with your ankles, your hips, and your lower body. Now you can integrate all these joint actions, and all these joint actions create. They provide torques, and all this torque accumulates. And you can counterbalance yourself as you rotate. Yeah, torque is moving this way, so you can counterbalance with, yeah, even more. So you've been off balance. This is why you're not completely back swing. Right. And things like this. Or using your arms to swing, because your body's not counterbalancing. That's it. It's got to learn to counterbalance first. Do the same thing now. Just look. Feel different? Yeah. Bang the board, then the club comes. 
So on the way back, it's too much together. It needs to be board first. Now board first, bang. Yes. Now bang. That throws the club back. Do you feel that? Yeah. Yes. Now you've got the weight of the golf club working for you. Yeah, that can fill the weight of the club. Yeah. If I try to get any speed with my body weight, I might fall over. Right. This is different. This is pressure. Yeah. Now that, now what this also allows you to do, Val, this allows you to twist with more speed. Let that snap here, yeah. take it into your finish. Go, bang, bang. That's a notice when you did that, do that again. Hold it, it came round here. Yeah. Do it again. So that snap is like bang, and that takes you, that momentum takes you to that place that I just tapped. Let the, let the snap take it there. There, hold it there. That's where that snap that you felt yeah. takes it to. Bang the board, swing the club back. And then let it go. And let the snap take you to where we tapped it. Let's have a couple of swings on there. Yeah, that snap is like bosh. That is the, the impact snap. Yes, totally different, isn't it? We want to have the sense that the snap is after the ball, right? not before the ball. So this club head is suspended in time and space behind us as we are active with the board and then it recoils. I'm slowing it down when it's up here, I've noticed. Yes, it's got to be speeding up. That's it. Well done. See if you can lengthen the amount of time between you sensing the bang and then the swinging of the club. So it's bang, swing. Swing. When you feel comfortable, bang, snap, bang, snap, bang, snap, bang, snap. And it doesn't matter where the ball goes. Okay. It's can, what, where I want your attention to remain is on that timing. <laughs> it's not easy. No. Did you go to hit the ball or did you let yourself continue in that no, timing? No, I tried to hit the ball. And just flip it away, just collect it. Well done, it's better. Awesome, well done. This is the letting go, it's really just allowing your body down to take over with the timing. Well played. Awesome. Over the net, see it with a bit of draw? Very high, it's just landed. Excellent. This is the kind of force we should be feeling on the we should be sensing on the wrist that you're used to using the arms yeah. more to move the club. You see, your body's hardwired for efficiency. It's, it doesn't really want to do this. <laughs> if, I said, if I said make circles with the club, yeah. okay, to a beginner, well, they'd probably just do that for starters or something like this yeah. because they, they use, it's economy of movement. If I said, no, you've got to use your grip to just move the club head, they'd probably just do that. But because we're, we, we've, we've ingrained certain movement patterns, we, we're so used to moving and sensing this club from further up the chain to move what essentially is the club head just by a very simple action. Nice circle as you're stamping the feet. That's it. Very good. Dial it down to a swing speed where you can sense the sequence. Right. So the bang and the snap on the way down. Yeah. We're kind of together. So slow this thing down. Leave the club behind you. Yes. Look how far that's gone. Yeah. Same distance as the others. So I held it a bit and then... And what you interpret as held, that was moving, but just to you, probably feel static because you're used to going like Zorro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like everything's being kind of desensitized because you've been using everything, you've been using the club to the shoulder as a block. Yeah. So all my body recognizes is this as a, as a segment, as a block, as opposed to the club because of the wrist, the elbow, the shoulder. Suddenly we become sensitized to the whole system yeah. as opposed to just this. So let's go again. That was fantastic. When you see that swing on the video, you'll see a very distinct difference. And that was down to you timing it. Nearly. You can leave the arms behind you for longer now. Leave that club behind you. Yes, look at that. 
I feel this. <laughs> They're all going to the nest. Yeah, they? don't worry about that. Yeah. If you can correct that later, but that's easy to sort. Yeah, yeah. That's just facing path, the awareness. For the minute, it's all about sequence. Leave it behind you now for as long as you can. Look at that. And that, when you watch that back on video, that probably feels to you like, I've just held it back for ages. And when you watch the golf swing, it looks like, it looks like a beautifully sequenced golf swing. There's a lot of rust before, wasn't it? It was over in a flash, yeah. <laughs> Now you've got strike, you see. You use that body weight, there you go. It's effortless power. We've been going to coaches. I've come away thinking, it's confused me. Whereas you're not really thinking. I'm not, there's there's no thought. Much. All I'm thinking about is transferring my weight. Exactly. And letting my mentor do the work. And you start to recognise the movement that makes that, that, that's meaningful. Unbelievable. Go for it. I like golf. Let's step. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to step on now yeah. with a bigger stride, with more. So you step. If you were going to step with purpose yeah. and confidence, you want to take little steps. You'd be like straight in. Yeah. Just get straight. Walk in. in there. That's it. Well done. So what we're looking at now is reading the ball fly. So if that's your club face, yeah. Wherever that's pointing when you hit the ball, that's where the ball starts. Sure. And the direction your club is swinging, the path, yeah. puts the spin on it. Right. So if you have a tendency to go to the left, that means when you hit the ball, your club face is a little bit closed, and your when path. When you say closed, you mean so that way. to the left, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So your club face is pointing over here, basically. Right. And you're swinging to the right, right, which makes the ball do this. Right. So your path was to the right of the club face. All we need to do is do that over there. It's just an awareness that's actually based around intention so it's like this is where I feel my path so you start to associate or attach the feeling of the path with the amount of curvature that you want you're making these very small adjustments yeah. which are feel based and essentially you're just developing mastery over your ball fly yeah, and you find you find your preferred fly yeah, yeah. but you know if you go too strong you know why it's happened the yeah. gap between the face and the path was too big I need yeah. to bring it closer you can start the ball through hoop Essentially, the golf swing's already taken care of where you are now. All you're doing is going and playing it out. Well done. Swing's so much better. Yeah, and you're not thinking, all you're thinking about is where you want to go. And yeah, I wasn't thinking, it's just momentum. Yes. The more momentum you use, the more time essentially I'm actually, you see, in my head, I'm so used to the old way. Yeah, you are. I need to get rid of it. This is why I'm doing this. <laughs> This is resetting. This is how you're resetting the system. You go, you're setting up, gripping it, making the waggles, and swing it out there. Good. Perfect. So it starts just right of centre and draws back. So you're starting to feel the path aspect yeah. of the swing. Those two alignment sticks, you're now feeling this path. narrowing. Yeah. yeah, and also they are narrowing, yeah. So push me, but without falling over. Yeah. You just push me now. Yeah. Stay there, that's it. And now push me there. Yeah, you should be able to stay in the position. That's it. I'm gonna let go, so go back. Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna push you back. You will lean forward against me, but don't yeah, good. So now you've got a you're in a place where it's very different. Yeah. Step forward onto the carpet now and find that place here. Yeah. Different feel. Yeah. Now I've got stay. Now the weight's in the middle, but it's more of this. Mm. Now keep your, now I've got the club whilst you're here. Stamp your feet. So you can, and then find that place where you were. That's it. What structure do you recognise that tension in creating? Is your head supposed to be behind the ball? No. no. Awesome. Strike, superb. More dynamism, yeah. more balance, enabling I'm not you to be off the ball. a lot. It enables you to use your physical competency a lot better. Athleticism. Skill set, yeah. athletic skills that you've, that you've created through other sports just to transfer through to golf. Brilliant. You had a little uh, waggle there and a shuffle. He's going, <laughs> yeah, it was good. He's, but that's kind of you getting ready. That's you starting to, that's brilliant. Not this rigid, no, upright no. like this. No, no. You're here, you're yeah. moving. 
So I'm using yeah. every... But this needs to be up here, yeah. and then you just bend from your hips yeah. and to bring it to... That's it. And now you're in a place where you've got stability. Fantastic. Now I felt that. Different, totally different feeling. Oh man, <laughs> this, this is how the last breath talk, this is how the felt. Yeah. I never used to think. There we go. <laughs> Brilliant. And then, so you asked about the driver, so it's the same. So grab your driver, you're not hitting it like this on the way down anymore, or you're not hitting it here, you're hitting it over here. Right. So now, see where the path is, it's going slightly left. If your face closes to that path, then obviously you're going left or Got it. you pull draws. So we just spin around a bit, that's all. Use that momentum, it is different. Have a go with it. Wow. See it over the net? Not bad for 70 or 60 years. That's awesome. <laughs> I'll go on the board, mate. You're going to notice. Wow. I'll try to the You're going to notice now with the club, now swing the club. You're going to notice a difference in timing. Leave the club behind you for longer. Yes. And again, swing it back. It takes longer because it's a longer yeah. club. And then you're using your forward press just to you know, get that momentum flowing. Brilliant. Great shot. That's fantastic. I feel different? Yeah. The happier I feel, the easier I swing. It's strange, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're going to adapt or adjust your movement right. to the particular tool. You're not going to use the same action for a hammer as you are a screwdriver. No, no. So what you're doing now is you're adapting from the iron to the wood, not using the same setup. See, I've never been told to hold, hold the bow club. No. With the hit up. And that's the, the driver's the same, toe yeah. up. Amazing. Your shaft angle's been too steep. Yeah. Never been told that. Amazing. Hands lower, 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 lower. That's better. And watch the draw. I draw coming back. Beautiful. That's long. It's a great shot. How long is that? It's a range ball, they don't get that. No, it's long. Well, that ain't a range ball. Oh, I don't know what that it. is. <laughs> oh, it's a. Uh, it's odd, isn't it? Yeah. It's probably from. Oh, well, give it a whack. Give it a whack. <laughs> yeah. Low, shallow, low hands, so that's it. Use the momentum, let the club swing. Just pulled it left. So you'll see on the video that was. Oh yeah, there it. But you'll see on the video. This is why I'm saying it, so you can time. Yeah. Uh, stamp it. It's, it's referenced. You went with the body. Everything yeah, went together. Yes, I felt it. That I, felt, the, I felt. I felt that. And that was the swing you walked through the door with. Yes. But then yes. you can very quickly now. I actually felt myself going around my body. Yeah. Other than. Exactly. Now you can. You know where to go now. This is the purpose of practice. So immediately, the very next swing. You can get into your swing, get into your posture, and then feel that, feel that adaption. That again, then. And again. Do it again. So practice swing, and feel that adaptation now, where you're gonna, that adjustment. So much, Val, waggle the club, and let's get even shallower, shallower, get that shaft angle down. There we go, now you can swing it round, the body. That's it, into the golf ball now. So low, 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 down, down, down. That's it. You've been living life up here <laughs> and unstable. Like an old man. <laughs> yeah. And you're not. <laughs> now we're going to get old. Exactly. We to get old. Yeah. So. It's a number, isn't it? That's all. It's just a number. Look at that. It's quite true. On that, one. <laughs> that was awesome, wow. awesome mate. That was amazing. Great Jeez. stuff, Val. Well done. I'm not doing I'm really used. Cheers, mate. Thank you. You're welcome. Pleasure. Thank you. That was awesome.
Loved it. It was brilliant. I was afraid that everybody's teachable. It's just how willing they're learning, how willing they are to change. So, but that's not a. So it's it's how willing they are to change, but that's not a conscious thing. They are still trying to change, but sometimes resistant, completely unintentionally resistant to change yeah. because we are creatures of habit. And, all, and sometimes our awareness is used to being, we are used to having our awareness in a certain place yeah, yeah. that sometimes makes it difficult for us to adapt because we can't shift our awareness comfortably into a place where we need it to be to, to affect change. And so we, we tend to, if we keep our attention in a certain place, but we're trying to somehow affect change, it's very difficult. Because that's but, it. Yeah. Generally, when, when, when I'm able to keep the attention in the right place, yeah, every time. That's definitely what we've got here. Yeah, so um, let's call it a clean slate. We've never been gold before. <laughs> it's not possible though. It's no, I, I, did, I, did, I really it's blocked good. it off. I blocked yeah. it off. I said, I just want to learn. But that's that's amazing. It's amazing that you're coming with that, that mindset of that, and that attitude. I said, forget what you've learned. Yeah. Forget it. Start again because we have the big crap we've learned. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's learn now. We haven't learned. Now it's time to start learning. Now it's time. Exactly. That's how, that's how people learn. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Well done. Thanks for watching. Thanks, yes. mate. I'll tell everyone. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>